I need a rehabber. That's the topic of today's show. Let's dive in. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Investment Properties for Sale show here on Holton Wise TV. Jay Wise coming at you from my home office in the day and age of social distancing. Today's show, though, social distancing ain't going to stop us, man. Today's show is going to be a hot show for you guys. I'm fairly excited about what I have to offer. I got a nice duplex, okay? Very cash flow investor friendly. But before we get into that duplex, I need a rehabber because I got a hell of a deal on a quad for you guys. And let's jump right into it. 4204 Clark Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This price, yes, that is the actual price, $69,900. And the reason it's so cheap is this is a totally vacant quad. All right, guys, you're going to have to do some work. Now, this is a mixed-use quad, okay? We got one retail unit, and then we got two units that are two beds, and then a, another unit that's a three bed. Now, the whole thing, like I said, totally vacant, okay? We got to do some work. You know, you're cruising through the footage of the retail space, and uh, at the moment, okay, at the moment, the retail space is probably going to be a Debbie Downer. Market rep for this, I'm just going to put it at 500 now. Going forward in the future, I would anticipate that would grow. Uh, but look, man, um, this particular neighborhood, first of all, this is the Clark Fulton neighborhood. Now, a lot of folks that have been working one-on-one -on -one with me doing the investment properties for sale show, they know how high I am on the Clark Fulton neighborhood, even though it's currently a D-class neighborhood. Let me explain, okay? Metro Health is right there in the Clark Fulton neighborhood the metro health campus they are currently investing one billion that's b like boy not million billion one billion dollars into their campus in the immediate neighborhood they're building affordable housing units over there so i am super high on this neighborhood being the best spec neighborhood in the entire cleveland market now if you guys read my ultimate guide to grading cleveland neighborhoods and listen to a lot of my content watch holton wise tv you know I give it to you straight. When you know a neighborhood is savage and it's filled with tenants from hell, I let you guys know. We show you the worst of the worst, the most transparent uh, you know, look into the rental real estate business you could possibly get. You're going to get here on Holt Wise TV. So I don't like to fluff stuff and, and tell you everything's going to be sunshine and rainbows, man. If you don't believe me, check out the Tennis from Hell show. Nobody, and I mean nobody out there, is selling real estate in the way we do it. Nobody is selling real estate by showing you some of the nastiest, grossest, most, you know, heart-wrenching stories that we show you here on Holton Wise TV, okay? So I'm not a fluffer. So when I tell you I, I, I'm high on this neighborhood, okay, there's a reason for that. Metro Health, man, that billion-dollar investment, they're investing in the neighborhood. If you think that a neighborhood that is currently low-income, high-risk can get a billion-dollar injection and not improve, you're crazy. In addition to that, up north, you hear people on a nationwide scale talk about the resurgence of Cleveland, okay? Well, they're not talking about this neighborhood. They're not talking about Old Brooklyn. What they're talking about is the hot neighborhoods, Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, Edgewater. So right to the north, we're bordering the hot neighborhoods that are, are getting a national spotlight of being gentrified and, you know, neighborhoods on the upswing. So we got that to the north, right to the east. We got the Metro Health Campus, $1 billion. Just south, we got a solid C-class neighborhood. Okay, Old Brooklyn. Just to the west, we got a solid C-class neighborhood in Cleveland, the Camps Corner neighborhood. And then right to the west of that, we got Lakewood, Rocky River, Fairview Park. So this entire neighborhood, yes, it's high risk currently, but it's surrounded by a bunch of stuff that I think is going to either pull this neighborhood up with the fact that it's all so good and we're going to see some of that gentrification continue to spill over and the billion dollar injection. So I think if you're going to invest in a neighborhood, you know, if you're looking for path of progress, you're looking for an area that uh, you can get in while the prices are dirt cheap, while they're low, get in ahead of the curve. I think this is the neighborhood to do it. I know a lot of people talk about like Glenville, uh, or, you know, other various neighborhoods in the, in the city of Cleveland. I don't buy a lot of that. I think this is going to be the next hot spot, right? But right now, okay, with the fact that we're doing social distancing, a lot of businesses in Ohio are shut down. It's going to be very, very tough to rent out that commercial space, okay? I ain't going to lie to you guys. 
I don't see you renting that for the next uh, six, 12, maybe 18 months, right? I don't see it happening. And when you do, I think you're going to have to go low, maybe 500. See, the, the businesses that do really well in this neighborhood currently are things like, you know, hair salons, barbershops, tattoo parlors, things of that nature. But all of those are shut down in, uh, in Cleveland and in, in Ohio and in most of America. So that's probably going to sit vacant for a while. What you want to do right now is focus on these three residential units. You got to go section eight, right? Because the risk in this neighborhood is currently high. We can get a solid rent roll, 650 for the two bedroom, 750 for the three bedroom. We go section eight, we'll fix up either each of these units, you know, like maybe five to 10K per unit, okay? You know, as you can see from the footage, they definitely need some love, right? They need some love, but they're not like totally horrendous or anything. But, but we fix these things up, you know, budget five to 10K per unit here, get this thing up to snuff. We get section eight tenants in there so we can ride out the high risk time period that this neighborhood currently has. Okay, get some consistency, get some nice rent payments in there. All right, and then maybe one day this neighborhood does gentrify and it's similar to like Ohio, Ohio City, Gordon Square, Tremont, but maybe it doesn't, who knows, but the price you're getting this, okay, the price you're getting this and the rents you're getting right now with the relative safety of the Section 8 program, it's a cash flow beast even if it doesn't gentrify, but again, for reasons previously mentioned, I think it's going to be the next hot spot in Cleveland, and then maybe when that happens, that is a time for you to really do something cool with that commercial space, but as of right now, guys, you know, I ain't going to blow smoke up your butts, okay? I, I, you got to just write off the commercial unit for a while. So don't worry about spending any money in there. You just lock it up, leave it be. Now, in addition to the cosmetic repairs of these three units, right, 5 to 10K, you also got to factor in other stuff, right? We need furnaces, okay? Each of the furnaces is going to be about three Gs. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to need to run new ductwork. We probably will. So tack on a little bit more money there. We're going to need three hot water tanks. So that's going to be another three Gs total, right? Hot water tanks are going to last you approximately 15 years. They're going to cost about a thousand bucks a piece to replace. Those furnaces, three Gs a piece, right? So you're looking at nine G minimum for the furnaces, three G minimum for the hot water tanks. The electric panels appear to be updated, which is nice, but you know, things like our duct work for the furnaces, things like our, our piping for those hot water tanks and things like all the electrical in the building that connects to these updated electrical panels. I would anticipate you're probably going to need uh, to do some stuff to those too, right? So, you know, I would budget anywhere between, I don't know, maybe like 50 to like $65,000 uh, to do a reno on this building. Another thing too, is you got that roof. Okay. That's a flat roof. That's an old roof. The current owners, they don't know how old the roof is. So we may need to, to get some roofers up there and have them do some roofing repairs, new coating, things of that nature. So you're definitely going to be above 50 K, you know, 50 to 65 could go up to like 75 K. All of these are reasons why I priced the quad at so cheap, right? 69, nine. We're going to need an investor to come in cash. And those rental prices I gave you guys, those are like rental prices that uh, Holton, uh, Holton Wise, you know, our contracting team, we would go in and we'd do that rehab for you. Another buyer, you know, another investor type that this property would make a lot of sense for would be those local cats. You know, maybe you're a local cat who needs to expand your business and you actually need an office space and you can use that commercial space for yourself and then, you know, get a little bit of rent coming in to pay for your building, right? A little bit of house hacking, but on a commercial standpoint here, right? If you're going to do it yourself, you're like a contractor or you're running your own little property management portfolio, self-managing things of that nature. I'm sure you can get a lot of those repairs done a lot cheaper. So I think it's price right. You guys all know, if you've been watching Holton Wise TV, that quads are my favorite type of investment. Most rental income checks you can ever get using that residential financing. Now, the fact that this one is mixed use, it's going to be a little tricky. Okay. So it's not like our traditional residential quad but I mean, dude, we have priced this thing ready to rock. You come in, do your repairs. You could probably burr this thing out. We have commercial lenders in addition to those traditional residential lenders if they were unable to pull a residential loan on this. I mean, the option to even convert the commercial space to a residential space is on the table. You don't have much information here because you know what we'd have to do, we'd have to go to the city, we'd have to get a variance, okay? 
we'd have to get them to agree to allow you to do that because the zoning of the building is mixed use. So there's a lot of additional legwork that I'm not going to get into right now. I would say if you're really trying to convert that over, you know, that'd be best served for a person doing the renovation themselves because that process would take some time. I mean, we got a lot of government agencies that are currently running on fumes. You know, things are open, but things are very delayed right now. Uh, so now is probably not the very best time to go to the city trying to get a zoning variance or change the usage of a property. There's a, there's a lot going on. So if you're looking to have Holton Wise uh, run this rental for you guys, just so you know, like I said, the plan would be to just let that commercial space chill for right now. Do nothing with it till all the dust settles. Focus on getting those three residential units rehabbed section eight ready bring in that rent but eventually one day i anticipate two thousand five hundred fifty dollars a month coming in from this investment which is cheap we're going to need cash offers right now yes you could probably refi it out later uh with definitely a commercial loan possibly a residential loan unlikely but definitely a commercial loan you could burn it out later but we need cash offers right now because it is priced tough fly where else can you get four units with 25 50 in rent potential for 69,900. So I'm going to need proof of funds with all of your offers, guys. That means a screenshot of your bank statement. I don't need to see your account number, so you can go ahead and black that out, but I need to know it is a legitimate bank statement and you got the money. For a lot of newbie investors out there, I just want to take the time right now to clarify something for you guys. I don't know why, but a lot of newbie investors out there, they think that a hard money loan is a cash offer. It's not, okay? A hard money loan is a loan. That is a financed offer, guys. A cash offer is cash, meaning that money is coming from your pocket, more accurately, your bank, right? So no financed offers. Sorry, hard money loan folks. That is a financed offer. We are looking for cash offers. I anticipate multiple offers coming in. So if you're one of those investors out there, whether you're doing it yourself or you want my team to do it, uh, cash offers, submit those offers, send the email to sales at holtonwise.com and we'll field all the bids. We'll get this thing done for you. If you're curious to know our renovation prices, our renovation process, our property management prices, go to holtonwise.com, check out the property management stack for more information on that. Now, what I want to do, I want to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show and then we're going to get into the duplex I talked about. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Hey, folks, welcome back. Diving right into the second property now. 2236 West 104th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This puppy is a solid cash flow earner for you guys. 44,900. We got two units, each with two bed, one bath. Now, this puppy has got some nice upside as well. Now, uh, neighborhood wise, we're still D class, okay? Still D class neighborhood, but we're still over on that west side where I'm very high on. Now, this is a uh, much further west, okay, than our quad. So we're not going to see as much direct impact on this neighborhood from the 
the Metro Health, um, you know, billion dollar investment, we are definitely further away. But if you are sick, that is likely the hospital you're going to, but you're not like in the immediate, immediate vicinity of that. However, all the things from the previous property that I liked, you know, we're still being surrounded by it. Ohio City, Gordon Square, Tremont, Edgewater, all that stuff to the north, to the west. We got Camps Corner, we got Lakewood, we got Rocky River, we got Fairview Park, and then to the south, we got solid C-class neighborhoods. So another neighborhood right now makes a lot of sense. Go Section 8, alleviate a lot of the risk that comes with the riffraff of a D-class neighborhood. Uh, but then hopefully in the future, this, this you know might be on the upswing. You want to buy low and sell high, right? We all know that. Now currently, right, this is being self-managed by some mom and pop investors. They've done a pretty nice job. Now the one unit, they are renting it way, 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 way under market, right? 525, okay? Now, these units, looking at the footage of the vacant unit, these are nice, dude. I mean, obviously, that occupied unit doesn't look this fresh, okay? We're going to, of course, need to do a turn. Uh, renovations, you know, we're going to need to spruce it up cosmetically when the, the 525 tenant does leave. But the good news is when they do leave, we go Section 8, man, these are $750 a month units, okay? $1,500 a month is what we could be drawn in from this particular property. Now, don't think that when that 525 a month tenant moves out, you're, you're just going to you know put a new tenant in there at 750 call it a day. No, you're going to have to do a reno. I'm sure you're going to have to spend like 5K making it look nice and pretty. But as far as this vacant unit goes, it looks pretty good. Uh, from what I could see from the footage right now, I don't think we're going to need to do much. Now, to get it completely Section 8 approved, I'm sure the inspectors are going to cite this or that or you know a few things here and there. So we may need to spend a few grand um, but more or less, this unit itself is looking pretty good. Now, there are going to be some other costs that uh, we're definitely going to want to incur um, sometime in the near future. Cruising down to the basement, I want to bring your attention to this old furnace, right? The other furnace is brand new. Nothing to worry about there. They installed that in 2019. You got all new duct work on that bad boy. You don't need to worry about anything on that furnace for probably 30 years. That's great. Uh, this furnace, man, this is probably original, okay? So, Right off the rip, you know, you definitely know you got a, a three thousand dollar bill coming your way at minimum in the in the near future. Another thing though that uh, we have here, right? These pipes, the or the ductwork rather, you see it's wrapped, okay, wrapped in this white material. You don't see the uh, you know the aluminum or you know the metal type cover, right? You don't see that silverish color, right? You see this white wrapping. I don't know for a fact, but I, uh, being in the game, uh, this is probably asbestos wrapping, okay? Now, West Coast folks, a lot of you guys are freaking out, hitting the panic button right now. Hey, 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 I feel you guys, but hey, Ohio's a little different than California. It's not, uh, you know, y'all do stuff a little different out there. It's a little weird, right? It's not the end of the world. Like, we could still rent the property, things of that nature, Asbestos wrapping itself is not dangerous. It becomes dangerous when you remove it, when you disturb it, right? So people either encapsulate it, right? You could box it in or you do pay to get somebody to come in and remove it the right way. You know, they got to be licensed. They got to spray it down, all that jazz. So it is not a reason to panic. We can still get the job done. It might add a couple grand to a normal furnace replacement, uh, but it's not like a big deal. You don't have to remove tenants or anything. I just want to make sure I bring that to your attention so you guys know that that is out there. Again, Holton Wise TV, it is all about providing you guys with complete transparency in the real estate investing space. So yeah, we got the furnace with the asbestos wrapping. That would be like the biggest immediate uh, bill coming up in the future. So this property, very close to turnkey. We got to do some other things, but you know, you spend some money down there, pop a new tenant in, uh, in the other unit, get it section eight ready at 750. As far as the 525 tenant goes, let's say you ride that tenant out for a while. They're still paying rent. Then, uh, you know, at the next lease renewal, we'll up that rent like 50 bucks and then we'll keep going 50 bucks, see what happens, right? The goal isn't to just immediately remove that tenant to get the rent up to 750 because you got to immediately remove an income stream and then probably spend at least 5k getting that unit ready to go. You don't want to do that. You want to keep collecting their money while we get the other tenant in there paying. And uh, then when they naturally turn, 
then, then you want to do that renovation, right? You should never as a real estate investor be in a hurry to remove an income stream from your life just to open up your wallet and spend a bunch of money, right? Even if two tenants were in this property paying five and a quarter, the thing would cash flow. So it's definitely going to cash flow at one guy paying five and a quarter, the other guy paying 750. So collect your money, man. Don't be in a hurry to remove that income stream, but eventually down the road, We'll get two Section 8 tenants in there, and you will be sitting pretty. Now, unlike our previous property, financed offers are totally cool on this one, guys. So if you need lenders, I have lenders for you. If you don't already have your own lender, you're going to want to submit your offers same way, sales at holdenwise.com, cash offers or financed offers. If you need my lenders, I'll give those to you. Just shoot us you know, the email, sales at holdenwise.com. Hey, I want to put in an offer, but first, can I get your list of lenders so I can get pre-approved? Boom, my team will send that to you. Then we'll field your offers. Just like the quad, I anticipate a ton of offers on this one. I mean, it's priced right. We're looking at 45K with the potential to bring in 1,500. Little high risk neighborhood right now, but hey, we're going to alleviate a lot of that risk by going with the Section 8 program, number one. Number two, I'm high on this little pocket in the Cleveland area. Again, check out my other content. I talk about this area quite a bit. And there are other areas that other people talk about, like the MLS search analysis show. Check that out. That's where you guys could hire me to work with you one-on-one -on -one and look over any properties other people have attempted to sell you. Or I'll go through the MLS and you know analyze due diligence on properties being offered by any of the 5,000 other real estate agents out here in the Cleveland market. A lot of people try to pitch a lot of other neighborhoods in Cleveland as up-and-coming neighborhoods. And I shoot it down quite a bit, guys. I shoot you all straight, man. Uh, this neighborhood is definitely not without risk right now. So if you're a risk adverse investor, neither of these properties are for you. Uh, but if you're a seasoned investor or just somebody who understands there's going to be bumps in the road. Um, but if we go with the Section 8 program, you know, we're not going to get a perfect tenant base uh, by any means. But hey, the rent, which is the number one thing that's guaranteed by the government, get that government cheddar, guys, especially now in the age of social distancing and the virus and all that jazz when a lot of people are out of work. There is nothing I am more high on right now at any point in time in the history of my investing career than government guaranteed rent, right? Because there's just, you know, a lot of economic turmoil going on at the moment. So I definitely think uh, if you were thinking about going with government guaranteed rents, now is the time to double down on that, guys. All right. So the first property, the quad, that is cash offers only. The second one, this duplex, cash or finance. Shoot those offers to sales at holdenwise.com. Check out the PM fact on holdenwise.com if you have more questions on our renovation process uh, or our property management process. We got video tutorials, Valerie and uh, the rest of the team. They explain everything, onboarding your property, how long renovations take, this or that. All our prices are out there, our property management contracts out there. Everything we have, every dollar, every penny we are going to charge you, we are transparent about that, guys. So check all that out on holtonwise.com. That's it for today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.